uh, welcome, welcome everybody who's watching this recording. And of course, if somebody would um, actually lose themselves into my stream, it would be very nice to welcome you as well. Right now, I um, am actually expecting this to be a stream without any viewers. This is basically just for recording my um, Scotty. Commander my Madeline, travel. What are your orders? Oops, I just very nice. Just saw something. Okay then. I have to change that. Here we go. So this stream has a serious delay. So what you see is about 30 seconds behind uh, me, which is okay. So uh, if anyone is watching, that would be the normal delay for answering a question, and it might very well be that I don't see it immediately. <coughs> so, um, here we are. I am at La Liberté. I'm still hoping that it's called La Liberté. In the Nuentes system, which is where I left off in the last video. Ever since a lot of things have happened, the Gamma release came and went, the uh, release of Elite Dangerous came and went, the version 1.01 came and went, and we are in the version 1.2 now. Or 02 or 02, I'm not sure here. Um, but my situation has nevertheless been very much the same. I have upgraded my ship though. So I went a little bit bounty hunting, um, shooting down ships uh, by the dozens, which has uh, produced some very nice results. Now the um, starport services is not reacting as it should be. A bit surprised here. Um, let's see when it's reacting. It seems to be a very heavy delay right now. Yep, yeah, it's definitely delaying. Well, while I'm there, we can uh, at least get this uh, started with one of the next changes that I made, and that would be this one. Commander on the bridge. Commander, welcome aboard. As you can see, I have now a voice recognition, and here comes La Liberté Enterprise, Awaking. So this was a very la high delay. That was strange and it's still rather delaying here. I'm quite surprised here. I have a theory though. I'm gonna test that theory now. I have a theory where this isn't working out. And uh, so give me a minute here. I have... Uh, a suspicion. So this one might be it. So we're moving a uh, load on my network now. So as you can see, I'm still flying my eagle, the eagle I got. Um, but as you might see here, it's not in the la in the uh, loadout it was. So let's check at livery here. So this is my eagle. It has the crimson eagle paint job, which uh, I found when I was checking here, and it seems to be a basic one. And it is decorated with the combat novice, um, yeah, spray-ons logos. Um, that is because I am now a novice level fighter. Um, my weaponry, I went too far back here, my weaponry is still three pulse lasers gimbaled. Um, that is simply because that is, well, basically what uh, I can uh, muster here without having to sacrifice time for aiming, which I am very bad at. So these guns aim for me, they are very weak, but they aim for me. I have a heatsink launcher. And uh, I have um, a reactive surface composite, which means that kinetic damage on my hull is reduced. A level power plant, D level thrusters, A level frameshift drive, A level life support, A level power distribution, B level sensors, 
C is level fuel, C level shields, A level shield cell bank, and a hull reinforcement package which uh, heightens my shields and hull quality. So this is rather as much as I can do, and I still got two million credits over left over. This is as much as I can fit without breaking the power balance of my ship. And the, the power balance is definitely a, a problem here so to support my weaponry and heatsink and shield generator. I need a, a serious amount of power, so I can't go, for example, for A shields if I want to go for an A frame shift drive. I want to go to an A frame shift drive because I don't want to daddle. And uh, so I'm going to go to Earth now. <coughs> Scotty. That's wrong, you go. Hmm, reaction time of my voice command is very low. Ah, uh, here we go. Yes, so. Commander Madia. Yes. Um, Scotty. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Scotty. Commander Madia, what are your orders? Prepare for launch. Commander Madia, I anticipated your arrival and have prepared us for launch. That is very good. Thank you. You're welcome. So we're going to go to launch now. And we're going to go to the navigation once we have left the dock. I uh, personally have the feeling it's always easier to navigate once you have been out of that stupid station. Gear up. That is one of the big benefits of the voice command, guys. The f what the hell? A viper just bumped into me. Which way are you going? Well, I wasn't watching where I was going. Though. Full engines. Power diverted to engines. So as you can see, all the icons on my map, um, which is uh, on the bottom, but I can enlarge that now. Um, open Scout radar. radar view. Here, as you can see here, um, the all the icons are green now, a lot of icons. That is because I am now allied with the Federation for shooting down so many pirates. <laughs> so, um, close radar. Close radar. Here we go. Um, the problem with the voice command is you have to be really clear, which is one of my big um, disadvantages. And um, you cannot say anything whilst talking in a sentence, because that is not recognized anymore. Open navigation. I still have named it navigation, have I? Open nav panel. Navigation panel. Yes, I have named it nav panel, not navigation. That is, <laughs> you have to remember your commands. So, what are we going to go? We go to Kungi. Why do we go to Kungi? Close nav panel. Affirmative. Here we go. Um, we're going to Kungi bef because I have been routing out the distance, um, the, the way we want to fly. And uh, I found that Kungi is on the right track. I can show you now. Open galaxy map. Galaxy map. Here we go. So as you can see, this is Kungi. This is already locked in because I selected it so. And we are going to see where Nuentis is. There is Nuentis, so that's where we're starting. This is Kungi, which is down here. And now we have to find Sol. Where was Sol again? Here is Sol. So, um, my plan is to go to Kungi, and then from Kungi, to go over to the core systems. And I believe it is... No, that's not here. It is here, I believe. This core system is one of them, where I want to go. And then I believe it is over to this one, or was it? 
uh, here, these are the core systems I want to go. May I speak freely? Oh yeah, that is a randomizer by the way. It uh, is active um, because I haven't said that it shouldn't be active. So let's see. here's Alpha Centauri, there it is. So as you can see, this is Sol, this is our goal. And we have to go to Alpha Centauri and Wise and then over to Luiton, which is here. And then uh, here, LTT, and this core system. There are so many core systems, you know. And uh, this core system, and this core system. And I believe one of these core systems is just within the range of Kung Yi. We have to Hill, ZX. Yeah, as you can see here Hill, ZX, Bran. L258146 and then Kungi. So this is basically where I want to go and first I want to go to Kungi which is about as far as I can go and then over Zo um, ZX and Hill over the core systems to Seoul. Close galaxy map. Closing map. Thank you. You're welcome. Go on. No, sorry. Go on. Next time we talk, perhaps we should look at options for upgrading systems and modules, and see if there are any improvements that can be made to some of the ship's defenses. It's imperative that we have the best possible resources for the many circumstantial encounters we might face. After you, of course. That is true. However, as I explained just before that, the, uh, my ship is maxed out, my power cannot take any more. The setting I have now is a jump setting with as much fighting optimization that I could put into a setting where I could call, uh, uh, have a A2 level frame shift drive. So, um, yeah, I have basically no alternative here. So the thing is, um, I have programmed my voice attack come up with all kinds of music. Most of the music I cannot play in a live stream though, um, especially not on YouTube because of the copyright protection stuff that is going on here, despite the um, reason why I say this should be legal, but as you know, it's quite possible that it isn't. So we have to entertain ourselves by just being as we are. But first of all, we are going to jump to Kungi. Activate jump drive. No. Activate frame shift drive. No. Frame shift drive. No. These commands, it, it doesn't recognize them because probably I didn't put them into them. So, um, activate jump drive. Uh, engage jump drive. Jumping to speed. Drive charging. That was one of the commands that she knows. She knows that one. Now, if I would repeat that command now, she would cancel it because she would. It's basically pressing the button again. So we're jumping to Kungi now. Throttle to normal. Um. Identify yourself. I am known as Skadi. No, your name is Skadi. My designation is Skadi. She doesn't understand it. Uh, the, the problem is, the word Skadi is uh, of a Norse goddess. And I have named my ship like that, but um, the voice pack that I purchased cannot pronounce that name correctly. So I'm just going to go with that. And I have I programmed an option to correct her <laughs> while she corrects me again, uh, just for the fun of it. So, um, to add to the uh, explanations here, um, I'm a quite a heavy mouth breather. So, a breather. So, I'm always breathing into the microphone, despite not wanting it to. I hope it doesn't mind you too much. It's a fact that I breathe through my mouth a lot, and that's sadly just a fact. So as you can see here we see different ships traveling here. As you can see it's a Cobra here which is not a player. But this is not going to irritate us now. 
we're going to say now that we're going to map our course more. Um, open navigation. Open nav panel. Navigation panel activated. I should remember that. I should remember that. So, um, the thing is we now need to go someplace. And I can't say which one. Because it's one of the core systems that I know. So, which one will it be? I think it's one of these. But, I'm not sure. So, I'm going to check on the galaxy map. Let's hope nobody disturbs us. So, from Kungi out, not to a core system, but what did it say? LHS? I think it was LHS. And then down here? No, where is Sol? Sol! Where are you? It's such a remote system. There we go. To this. Okay, to this. Okay. Is this right? It seems to be. This core system. 13. I should be able to jump that. 17. I'm definitely not going to jump that. I'm not able to jump 17, I know that. So let's lock this one in and see if I'm right. No, I'm not alright. I have to go over hill. And then core systems, right? And that is too far. 21. So how about hill? Where is hill? 12. I can make that. I, I'll go over hill. Going over the hill. Yeah, here we go. Locked. So, and from hill, core system, core system, right? And, uh, it was all again over there. LTT, Luiton, Officer Tower, yeah, the, uh, the, the, um, bearings are correct. Close galaxy map. Closing map. Thank you. So, now where are we? We are in the right destination, actually. So, engage jump drive. Jumping to light. drive charging. I have to put the throttle to max. And uh, I, I can't really remember if I have any music in here without copyright. <laughs> um, I think, well, there's none without copyright, actually, but there are some just for my amusement and probably not being recognized by YouTube. But uh, we're not going to go there now. So this is our second jump. My fuel is almost empty, as you can see in the bottom right. Let's see if we can make a third jump. This is very... That's a very red sun, man. So let's see if we can make a third jump closer to... closer to a uh, soul. Open galaxy map. Galaxy map. No, open galaxy map. No, she hasn't done so right. Open galaxy map. Galaxy map. Now, here we go. So, we came from ZX and Brand, didn't we? We have to go over the core systems. This is already 14 away, man. There is no description here saying that this one is basically empty. There is nothing here. No. There seems to be nothing here. Which is uh, not good. And this one is 22. No, I can't do it. Close galaxy map. Closing map. We have to check out if there's a station in this system. And there are so many ships here that I would suggest there is. Um, since it is a federation system. What's this? It's a strong signal source. We're not gonna meddle with that now. Um, open targeting. Navigation panel activated. Thank you. You're so welcome. we have Whaley Terminal. Or Curie Gateway. Oh, we're gonna go to Curie Gateway. Close targeting. Affirmative. Thank you. Um, here we go. We're going to go to... Uh, 
Ooh, we are very close. This is very close to the to the jump point. Do you point. mind if I speak to you about something? I'm listening. I'm guessing that lots of pilots find some aspects of trading complicated. Therefore, they tend to avoid it. There are some very lucrative methods that can be applied to commodity trading. Rare goods offer huge profits if you're willing to travel and seek them out. Perhaps you should allocate some time to research these methods, if you wish. Well, that is a nice suggestion, but first I want to go to the Sol system, park my eagle, get a cobra, and uh, travel around a bit. But I was thinking about going into trading, and especially uh, going into mining. I would be very interested to do that for occasionally. Um, but as you can see, this randomizer, this is... Uh, I can voice uh, deactivate this randomizer at any time. It just keeps me company, let's say that. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically what this... Uh, is making this fun. Disengage. Disengaging jump. I've become rather lazy in my efforts here, um, using the voice commands whenever I can. And of course, if I would now not record, but fly around solo, as I did for many times, I um, would probably just... Uh, here we go. Would probably just uh, play some music, and that's it. So, where is the entrance? This thing is turning that way, clockwise. So the entrance must be this way, actually. Open frequencies. Opening hailing frequencies. Close targeting. Affirmative. Greetings, respected ally. That is very nice of them, isn't it? So is this the entrance or is this the complete wrong side? That is the complete wrong side, isn't it? Damn it! So we're gonna go the other way around. But I didn't see the entrance there. Am I blind? Or? Well, we're gonna see. So... <coughs> well, what's new? I heard you can... I heard and I witnessed that you can build wings now. So, have multiple ships, partner up, share bounty, all that jazz. But uh, since I don't have any contacts... Yeah, you can scare me, I got nothing to hide in. Um, never really appealed to me. The uh, option is of course very nice, but since there is no active system on partnering up with random guys, and I hardly met any players so far. Um, that is rather wasted on me. So there is nothing here. I do have the feeling that it's rotating that way, so this should be one of the sides where the entrance could be. And there it is! I see green and red, which is always a so I'm very glad that this patrol of Federation fighters just passed by and was on the verge of smashing into them. Gear down. Thank you. As you can see, prepare to land. So, prepare to land. No, it doesn't go that Ready to land. I keep forgetting those commands since I'm never using them. Basically just reduces my speed when I do that. And I can do that manually just as fast. So we're gonna land here Talking on the hill. Engines disengaged. Enter the hangar and get some fuel. Really thinking very hard if I can get any if I can uh, get any music going here, except the normal ambient music. I just can't think of anything. So we've got fueled up. Open galaxy map. Galaxy map. 
This is a strange thing. It doesn't work when I'm parked. I don't know why, but it doesn't. Open galaxy map. Galaxy map. As you can see, nothing is happening. Prepare to launch. Here we go. We are going out again. So there are many new ships now, like clippers, cruisers, um, the orca, which I find personally find Ship looking released. absolutely lovely. Gear up. The thing is, now I cannot uh, open the galaxy map without crashing into the next uh, thing. What do you have here? An Addo. Addo is a training ship, which is also rather new. <laughs> open galaxy map. Galaxy map. Now it does it. You see that? That's what I mean. I'm very irritating here. So, core systems. Where is this? These are the two core systems, right? Yeah, and then up to the Nebula, Luiton, from there on to Seoul. Okay, so this is the one where we want to go. Here we go, close galaxy map. Yeah, it doesn't do that. Well, uh, since I have the mouse. Anyway, so... We are already not mass locked anymore. I can't really wait to use this to my full extent. So this, the voice commands have really made this game even better for me. Engage jump drive. Jump into drive charging. So basically we're jumping to the next the, the core systems that I defined as the ones in between. There should be nothing in there. It's unknown unknown as you can see. Well if there's something in there I don't know because I don't I, I don't have the map data for that. So basically that's just how it is. Okay, and here we are. There is a player ship here, I can see that. Player ship, which is, is a Type 6 transporter by Commander Blue Spearman. It's an ad another player, a novice clean, and he just jumped. Or probably just on a trade mission. Open galaxy map. Galaxy map. Open galaxy map. Galaxy map. That is strange. Open targeting. Open targeting. Navigation panel activated. Here we go. And then we go over that to the galaxy map. Here we go. So we are here. We have to jump to... We have to jump upwards somewhere, don't we? Here. LTT. That is one. That is eight. That is okay. This is 12. Also okay. I'd like your attention for a moment. Go on. It's better to preserve the ship and its cargo and move away from unnecessary combat in anarchy systems. There's little to be gained from taking a stand in these systems. Even with a warrant scanner it's rarely profitable. She basically doesn't want me to get into nonsense combat, which is my plan anyway. Close galaxy map. Closing map. Here we go. So, we have uh, selected the looting system, the second one. I can jump there easily. My frame shift drive will allow this. My distance is about between 14 and 16. Engage jump drive. Jumping to light speed. Okay. Um, I am in luck somewhere. Whoops, that was not my plan. <coughs> I am locked. I didn't want to get locked. That was the button. I forgot which um, button that was. So here we go. Engage jump drive. 
jump into light speed. <clears throat> Engage frame shift drive. Jump into light speed. It doesn't let me do that, whatever that is, man. I think this one. No? No? It's really weird right now. It doesn't let me... Doesn't let me jump. I don't know why. Open targeting. Navigation panel activated. It's not selected anymore. This one. I want this one. Oh, there are permit systems now. Did you see that? I cannot select those without having a permit. Luckily, Luitin is not one of them. Frank Close targeting. Affirmative. Here we go. Now we can jump this thing. I don't know why it didn't do that. It seems like it was selected, but it stopped being so uh, very strange. Bye bye. <laughs> Gotta love my work. So back into the stars. So I heard that this must be an absolute eye gasm with the Oculus Rift. I am. Um, when a rift comes out in HD, in full HD, tell me about it. But uh, until then, I checked. 350 bucks for the uh, developer's kit 2, and for what? Not uh, only SD graphics. Would be a waste. Would be a waste. Really would be. Open Galaxy Map. Galaxy Map. Here we go. So we are at Luiton. We are at the white Luton system, I think. Yeah, they are. And Seoul is only 14 away. So this is Seoul, and I hope I can get the jump right. Yeah, barely. I can barely make it with my fuel, but hey, I can make it. So the problem is, it's on the other side of this blasted sun, so I have to go around it. Engage jump drive. Jump into drive charging. So here we go. So now we are on the way to a small, unimportant planet. A small, unimportant sun, little yellow sun, and one of the outer spiral arms of the galaxies. Surrounded by eight to ten planets, whatever you want to call them count them. We are going to Seoul. -hoo -hoo. Here we are. That is the sun. Our sun. There is Neptune. Isn't it lovely? There's Pluto! Hey Pluto! So, open targeting. Navigation panel activated. Open targeting. Navigation panel activated. Damn you. Open nav panel. Open nav panel. Navigation panel Here activated. There is a nav beacon. Daedalus around Mercury. Galileo and the capital ship. Alicia, the Gawachaf and the Abraham Lincoln. It's just the same. It's the same. It's all the same. Let's go to the Gorbachev. Close nav panel. Affirmative. Close nav panel. Affirmative. Here we go. Um, I remember from the Frontier Elite 2, which was the only f Elite game I played before, these stations, I remember them. There were three stations around Earth, one American, one Russian, and one Chinese. Which are these two? Right now there are only two stations, as you all know. A joint one, the ISS, and a Chinese one. So, not as it was back before the Iron Curtain fell. But the distances in this star system is really small. The star system distances are really small here. Lots of signal sources, lots of ships, as you can see. This is a very crowded system, man. 
but I love it. I love it. I'm going to go to Earth. <laughs> Who doesn't want to go to Earth, man? Yeah, yeah, slow down my ass. Can't help it. Here we go. Got into a wake of a planet. Woo. Let's make an extra round to through our solar system, shall we? Loving it. Here we go. Oh, our sun, so small, so unimportant compared to the rest of the galaxy. Here it is. The great, the mighty, the mostly harmless. <laughs> what is Earth? Leather is a durable and flexible material Not created leather. by the tanning of animal rawhide. And broadcast. Often cattle confirmed. <laughs> Yeah, I have a commander to just shut up whenever I want to. Um, this is mostly to cancel music and all that jazz. But it seems that there is no command for that, so she understood leather instead of earth. Disengage. Disengage and jump. Thank you. So, oh, it's struggling with the disengage. Zone is loading. Are there players in the zone? Whenever there's a real player in a zone, it sometimes takes real time, really a lot of time to load or unload. May I make a suggestion? Yes, you may. I'm listening. I'm listening. I try and explain how our minds in the neural network function with regards to what humans perceive as our emotions. The problem is, the human mind would take over 200 years to have even a chance of an understanding. And only if you used the entire brain and humans don't. That is very reassuring. Open frequencies. Opening hailing frequencies. No, you didn't, but who cares? Close targeting. So, land impact 16. So, I am at the station Michael Gorbachev. As you can see, it is a big one. Ah, love to see this. So, gear down. Lowering landing gear. Man, this is also small. Landing gear deployed. And insignificant. But it has flowers. <laughs> so lovely. Okay. So let's get in front a little bit. I have a feeling that it's a little bit shaky now. Locking successful. Engines disengaged. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Take five, Scotty. Thank you, Commander Madagyar. I'm handing you the con. This basically means that she stops listening to me until I give a start listening command. I'd like your attention for a moment. It doesn't make her stop talking, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. She can't hear that now. She can't hear that now. Anyway, here we are. We are at Mother Gaia, at Earth. And um, let's see. I want to check out what they have here. Viper. Cobra. Larkon. And that's it. There is nothing else here. That is really weak. So, Viper, a Cobra. So, the thing is, I'm right now flying an Eagle. And the Eagle is very maneuverable. It, the, the Eagle's level here is on the top. Absolutely on the top. On the maneuverability. But as you can see, its speed. At shields, its armor is all weaker 
than a viper. We take a cobra. Top three, 280. 320. Viper, of course, is faster. Boost 400. Both. Shields 80. Shields 105. Armor 120. Armor 70. So basically it's a decision between, you know, um, yeah, it's basically a decision between uh, the uh, more shields or more armor. Well, I, of course, always would prefer more shields. Let's see here. Two medium hard points on the uh, on the Viper and two small hard points. And uh, the Cobra, just the same. Two medium, two small. And I know that the Cobra has a little bit more space. I'm a little bit torn here. A little bit torn here. Most definitely that the Cobra is more expensive though. Let's let's ask Scotty actually. Let's ask her. Scotty to the bridge. Commander Madaya, yes, I'm here. Go on. As you are aware, I monitor your health from time to time. <laughs> I think when you take accessing library. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, yes. by Douglas Adams. Starring Peter Jones as the book. And broadcast. Confirmed. That was a mistake. It um, misunderstood my laughter to the word fit the third. And those start the third part of the, I think, 12 part audio play of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So that is it's just started by a uh, mistake <laughs> and interrupted her but it's okay she was talking about my health and I know my health my health is terrible I am the prototype of a bad health gamer really am anyway describe the Viper Viper Mark 3 the Viper Mark III is the most recent development of the most successful fighter classes ever built. The original Viper defense craft was designed by Falcon Manspace in 2762 in the Realty Shipyards. The basic model was beefed up with the Viper II by Falcon de Lacy. The new Viper III is a revitalized model with a new more armored look. It is a top-class fighter found in many well-equipped police and naval forces. The Viper Mark III is the main vessel used by station security forces and law enforcement, and is currently the fastest ship available to purchase. It is a highly effective combatant, with a turning rate comparable to that of the Sidewinder and the same weapon capacity as the Cobra Mark III. This has resulted in a fast exit style from any situation kind of ship, which has been known, with sufficient skill, to defeat any other ship class in production thus far in single combat. Its main drawbacks are that its heat dissipation, power generation and hyperspace capacity do not equal that of the Cobra, which limits the value of having the same hardpoint capacity. Mounting the ship's full weapon weight makes it very short-ranged and an energy-heavy armament causes it to either overheat or use all available power very quickly. In addition to its official police, security role, the Viper's speed, range and combat capability make it ideal for bounty hunters, small load couriers, mercenaries or smugglers, while its small cargo capacity makes it a very poor choice for merchants, and a survivable but inadequately profitable platform for pirates. Describe the Cobra. The Cobra Mark III is a classic all-purpose ship found throughout human space. The model was first built in Lave Cal and F. G. Rart shipyard in Lave in 3100. Despite its age it remains a popular ship for lone pilots who value its balance of carrying capacity and ability in combat. The Cobra Mark III is a larger and more popular version of the Cobra Mark I. 
It was first seen in service in 3100 AD, originally manufactured by Carroll and McGrath Shipyard, Lave. Since Carroll and McGrath's acquisition by Falcon de Lacy it is now branded as an FDL-made ship. It is equipped with several special features, including Zyman energy deflection shields, mountings for four Ingram pulse lasers, a Lance and Furman seek and kill missile system, and Kruger light fast motors. With its good sized cargo hold the Cobra is a logical step on a trader's route to riches. It also has much better combat potential than the Lacon series of large freighters, making it a favorite of lone wolf traders. What's more, it is an ideal craft for a pirate to plunder the space lanes because of its sample capacity for loot. A low heat signature also helps pirates, smugglers and others seeking to avoid the attentions of the authorities. Hmm. So basically, both of the Lacey ships I'm 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 thinking about getting a second opinion here. Prepare for launch. Yes, Commander Madaya. The ship has been inspected. All systems nominal. Ready when you are. So I'm going to get a second opinion here. I'm going to check out another station, hoping for more ships there. You can see. Ability of only three ships here is a little bit weak for me. I might have to go to the Barnard Star system. Ship released. Engines engaged. Gear up. Landing, Landing gear retracted. Full shields. Max systems. So this should be the moon. As you can see, we have a sickle today. Scan detected. Lovely, isn't it? So then, the other side of this station, there should be where I am right now. Is this the moon or is this Earth? This might be Earth already. I'm not sure here. These are wakes. High energy wakes. Open targeting. Navigation panel activated. Previous menu. Hide back. Previous menu. Hide back. Ship here. So let's select Earth. Close targeting. Affirmative. That is Earth actually, okay. So Earth is a sickle here. Federation, Earth like world. Earth is an Earth like world. Who wouldn't have thought? Um, open targeting. Navigation panel activated. So the Abraham Lincoln is here, and the Li Qing Zhao seems to be on the other side of Earth right now. Galilee is around the moon, Daedal is around the Mercury. There are many here. Let's check the galaxy map. I'm not gonna crash into Earth until three days from now, so I have some time. Let's see. I could have I could have just opened the system map. I just a little bit stupid here. Um, accessing system data for Seoul. Yeah, here we go. Let me see which one is the biggest station here. I'm quite sure they can. The system map can give me some information about that. So, Daedalus. Repair your arm outfitting shipyard. Okay. I've been thinking about something. 
Go on. It's important to maintain the ship. There is wear and tear to consider. Checks on repairs are very important. Habitually you should make these checks before and after expeditions. Not all stations have the facility to repair. Keep this in mind. Okay, so there is one on Titan, but that's about it. There's Mars High, Soul Workers Party. Huh. Well question is, should we fly to the other side of the of Earth, or should we go to terraform Mars? For now, I'm voting this one. Open targeting. Navigation panel activated. Frameship drive. Close targeting. targeting. Affirmative. Disengage. Disengaging jump. Damn it, I missed it. I wasn't in uh, in the target. I missed my, my jump point. Close enough to a fat ship though. Engage jump drive. Jumping drive charging. Can basically put the uh, control back. No, I can't. Otherwise, I can't start this thing. Here we go. So you can see more from Earth around here. That's basically what I wanted. Many storms today. Disengage. Disengaging jump. Thank you. Woo! Look at that. We have a Captain Future station. Doesn't this look like Captain Future? I think it does. Look, it, it just looks... It, look at that, it looks exactly like the ship. Captain Future. Accessing music. <laughs> yes, I put that in there. I really did. I just did for the fun of it. Just because that station just looks like it. May I have your undivided attention for just a moment? Come on. Getting something to drink may be in order. My internal scans have detected that you may require some light refreshment. I'm not referring to alcohol or caffeine. A healthier option like carrot juice, perhaps? <laughs> Um, here we go. As you can see, like, uh, uh, when, when you look at Earth from here, you can see China, Japan, um, I think that's Thailand, or is it the Korean point? I think it's Korea. Then, uh, I think that's Thailand too, I can see here. Um, Indonesia, and on the bottom you can see Australia, there should be Papua New Guinea. Somewhere, I think. I'm not sure. Not that good in geography, but I think that one of the. I can see the Isle of Sumatra there. And the Philippines, of course. And um, up there, you can see Russia. Uh, other parts of Russia. And uh, the North Pole. So, logically, that would mean that the. the utter upper right part would be Alaska.
Look at that. Oh, that plus the music, isn't that perfect? Open frequencies. Opening hailing frequencies. Yeah, I've not to open them. Open frequencies. Opening hailing frequencies. I'm looking at the right side, so I can get close enough. I have to be about 750. Do you mind if I speak to you about something? Go on. Have you thought about using another AI? They could close be navigation. Or you could utilize them on another ship. Prepare for docking. Ready to dock. No, don't remember the command. Where's the four? There's a four. Gear down. Gear down. So this looks rather un greenish. The green garments of garbage station I'm missing. Tata for now. You're welcome. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Take five, Scurdy. Thank you, Commander Madayar. I'm handing you the con. I'm basically sending her on a break whenever I land. <laughs> it's just it's something I'm, I'm I do. You know, it's like I'm treating her like uh, member of the ship and all. Let's see what the ship pilot has to offer here. The same. Three ships. Viper, Cobra, Transport. And then it is. I'm gonna go for the Cobra. So, I am not going to sell my current ship. I would get I'm uh, also a million credits back. But I want my ship. I keep my ship. I store my ship. Confirm. Here we go. So let's see if that works. Well, I see darkness. You probably see darkness. I see nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now I see something. Here we are. My Cobra! Oh, this one has a second seat. So Cobras are one way you can actually get a co-pilot. So great. Okay, here we go. Let's go to Starport Services. And first, go to Outfitting. We have two level one pulse lasers. That must be changed. So, what do we have here? Absolutely nothing. Look at that. This is an, this is horrendous. I can get two level two pulse lasers. This is they have nothing in this system, man. Okay. My cobra is blue. It is completely blue. <laughs> okay, nice. So that's the first thing. Let's go for the second thing. Okay. 
So, this is a class 1. Meaning you can use only class 1 weaponry. Let's go for multi cannons. I really don't like multi cannons actually. But my choices are rather limited here. So, still got 1.5. What would I put in here? Holy shit, they don't have anything on this station. This is annoying. Okay, so... Can I at least get... Don't know... A... Uh, a shield? Hall reinforcement package, yeah, an E Hall reinforcement package is here. Shield multiplier 1, armor multiplier 1, armor edition 10. There is a better one, isn't there? This one. 1, 1 and 20, that's not bad. Is there a better one? Nope. That's it, that's as much as I can do. So I'm gonna put the Hall reinforcement package here. Yeah, give me that. It's absolutely nothing, man. 12k. Still got 1.5 million. So, why do we have a shield generators here? So, wow. A A level is already above my pay grade. Can't put that in there, but it's also above my also above my um, my my uh, power level so this would actually go as only 178 I don't have there is they don't have a B level they don't have a B level sheet generator I have to go for C so let's do that right Yes. And how about a nice better power plant? They don't have it! Ah. So let's see. That's a shit ton of money. Okay, military grade composites. Must be enough for now. Seriously? Okay, how about the frame shift drive? Do we have a bit of frame shift drive? No! Why should we? What can we put here? Another hall reinforcement package. I could use another hall reinforcement package. That is interesting. An interesting idea which I am deeply considering here. Yeah, why not, I would say, huh? I don't really need cargo racks. Put another Halloween Impulsion package in there. So... I don't get any shield cells here. I don't get any heat sinks here. What the hell am I going to do here? Already wearing... Wow. Wait a second.
Oh, I can I can put in a E3 in here. Didn't didn't check on the I didn't check on the um, on the as you can see the internal compartment here. Can you see my mouse here? Actually, I should be. As you can see here, there's a number the four, and that means that's the maximum it can hold. E4. Uh, a 4 would be the maximum size, and E is basically the level. A is best, and the lower you go, the lower it is. You know, but this station has very weak, very weak, um, well, offers here. So, C, level sheet generator, 4 whole reinforcement packets, 2 of them on the maximum I can handle, and I can't even get... Power distributor? Can get a better tower distributor though. A3. It's the maximum I can get, right? Yes. Yes. Nice. Top notch power distributor is a very good start. Power distributors are extremely important on how much power you can put into the systems, weapons, or engines. Um, the better it is, the better it works. Um, I can show you the... As you can see, for example, its um, weapons capacity and recharge rate goes up. Systems recharge rate, energy recharge rate. That means that um, the speed where you can use your boost for engines, that you can use your weapons again while firing, and that you can use your systems again so your shields go up again, increases exponentially what you buy here. I like it. No sensors. Hey, but at least an A-level life support. I can still afford it in my power. As you can see, that's the power here. But as you can see, my jump range is just 791. I need a better jump drive. For that, I need a better power plant because my power plant is already on the limits. What's with the thrusters? Can I buy new thrusters? I can, but it would rob me blind. B level. Oh, and would exceed my power level there. So let's keep it. You have to always keep some money for the rebuys for the uh, ship. So let's see here. I can apply my novice tattoo, which I will. Here we go. Ta-da! And can I apply a paint job? Merc. That looks lovely. Should I apply the Merc paint job? Or should I keep the blue? Right now, I'll keep the blue. See that? This blue. Looks beautiful. I like it. Yes. Now I need to define my fire groups. Let's see here. <laughs> Open systems. Uh. Right. SCADI is not installed yet. SCADI to the bridge. Commander Madaya. Yes, I'm here. Open systems. Systems panel activated. So. We are now in the systems panel. As you can see, my reputation and federation rank is allied, but I have no rank there. In Empire and Alliance, I'm absolutely unknown. My combat rank is novice. My trade and explorer rank is basically nil, zero, zilch, nada, none. Next menu. Hide forward. Next menu. Hide forward. Doesn't work. I don't know why. Here, you can see the modules. I'm at 98% of my power usage. And here we go with the fire groups. And now we have to define the fire groups. So, we're going to go with pulse lasers on one, a multi cannon on two. And the other one is pulse lasers on one, and basic discovery scanner on two. Close systems. Affirmative doesn't work either. Don't ask me why these commands sometimes doesn't don't work. I 
actually notice that it works way less when um, you are actually in, uh, in a stream or a recording or something. It's really not helping around. So, let's uh, prepare for launch. Yes, Commander Madaya. The ship has been inspected. All systems nominal. Ready when you are. That is good to know. Let's start this. So, we are now taking out my new Cobra, which means my Eagle is staying in the hangar of Li King Chao. If I want to switch to my Eagle, I have to come back here. Exactly here. I have no alternative. Gear up. Oh, look at that! There's a federal dropship coming in. I don't think she has that in her database. Describe the dropship. The federal dropship is the Federation Navy's workhorse ship for tactical and special forces deployments. This is a well armored and well armed ship capable of carrying large loads. Its versatile nature means that it is well suited to tackling even the most hostile environment. The yeah, thing is, right now, I'm testing around the Cobra and its maneuverability, and it is so much slower than the Eagle. That is really annoying. The Eagle is so good for dogfighting. It's just, it's just absolutely incredible. Open targeting. Navigation panel activated. No, May I have your undivided attention for just a moment? Go on. Humans are physiologically well adapted to life on Earth. Consequently, space flight has many negative effects on the human body. I suggest that you review your fitness levels. I'm not suggesting you are unfit. Your health and well-being are very important. I will continue to monitor your health. <laughs> she can uh, easily say that I'm unfit. I'm very unfit. So, we are in fact now at Seoul, where we're going to jump to the system in the old Frontier Elite 2, which was the hub for everything, and that is Barnard Star. Engage jump drive. Jumping to your drive charging. So that is basically the system where everything went out. That was my trade hub, that was the one place I always started from. Of course I'm not going to do that in this game. I want to see the galaxy. But uh, for now that's okay. I think the um, Cobra, once I have updated the frameshift drive and so on, I will switch in my Eagle and switch it to jump drive loadout so that it's mostly. Ta da! We're at Barnet Star. Open targeting. Navigation panel activated. Open targeting. Navigation panel activated. That's more like it. Close targeting. Affirmative. I said close targeting. Affirmative. Seems to have to tell Can Scotty you for a moment. I'd like to share this twice with you. Today. You are a chatterbox, Scotty. I am listening. Of course, you know that I monitor your health. A little food snack you might want to prepare. It takes just a few minutes to organize and is delightful. Take an arrow French bread Oh yeah, right, she is giving me recipe tips. I have no idea who put that in there. But it, it's actually a fact. She gives me recipe now, tips. Now, top the bread with pieces of warm goat's cheese brushed with honey. Then I hate goat's cheese and orange, honey. A little black pepper to finish and you'll have a wonderful culinary treat. I hate goat cheese and honey. That is, the combination is absurd. So we're going to check out the nav beacon and see if there's something to hunt there. 
because we need some monies. There are no player ships in my area. Oh, there is one. There is one player ship. I can see it. The, the player ships, as you can see, uh, see, are not a solid square, but a square with a hole in the middle. Okay. Disengage. Disengaging jump. So the thing is, this ship should have much more firepower, but the problem is that, and, and better shields, but the problem is that my, uh, that my maneuverability has gone down, which I find as a serious, serious disadvantage. And uh, that my <laughs> and um, that uh, in turn means that oh, nice, a hunted ship. Red alert. I've been thinking about Red alert. Power to shields. Deploying armaments. Thank you. Light them up. Diverting power to requested system. Thousand credits in the bank. Reload. That's the problem. I can't just reload. Or at least I haven't figured out how to do that now. And that is also very annoying. So as you can see, that was that was seriously fast. Simply because he didn't have any shields, and uh, my lasers are for shield destruction. And then the multi cannon should take out the hull. That's basically how the setup is planned to be. So these are all these are all uh, clean. I can say that. I have not seen a wanted Lacon in my life. So I might actually get a cargo s uh, a a warrant scanner uh, for the future. Somebody jumped just in. Just jumped in. An anaconda, yeah, I'm not gonna take on that one. It is wanted though. It is wanted, but I don't wanna risk it, man. I don't wanna risk it. Let's see if the others engage it. Should be, sooner or later one of the others will check out that ship. As you can see, they are all flying towards it already. And then they're gonna open fire, and that will distract a little from. Yeah, she's there. There's a lot of. Yeah, they open fire. Now the fireworks begin. Look at that. Sub five. Next sub five. Next sub system. Sub two. Sub two. Sub two. Jumped into a federation system. Must be wanted, man. Your odds were always against you. Okay, okay. Looks 
good. Oh, he tries to escape. I doubt that he's gonna make it. The power plant is down. He's exploding! Ooh, look at that firework! That was lovely! And brought me 58,000 credits of bounty. That was a lovely firework, wasn't it? You scanned me already! You stupid piece of metal. Wow, that was beautiful! I, I must say, the, the fact that the multi cannons took care of that so quickly, rather enjoyable. Together with the um, pulse laser, I like that loadout. Really do. Maybe I should swi um, mix it up, huh? What do you think? Uh, one big and one small multi cannon, and one big and one small laser. It would be an interesting loadout, wouldn't it? cut it out here soon enough. I think we're gonna go... We are I'm almost at... Uh, I mean, we are at 60,000 or 70,000 credits in bounty collected already in very few short time. Two destroyed ships. That is quite quick. Let's see what these are. Wanted. Next target. Target destroyed. Why is he attacking me? Shields offline. My shields are offline. Taking damage. Damn it. My shields are offline. Under attack. Plan A. Engaging exit protocols, retracting weapons, attempting jump, stand by, diverting power to requested system, afterburners, maxing engines, flight assist, jumping to light speed. Frameship drive charging. Well, as you can see, my hull was really holding up. I'm at 98%. All those hull enhancers have worked wonders. Really have. Frameship charge detected. Okay, this is another commander. This is an actual player. What is now? I am um, shutting down my ships here. I'm submitting to this. Red alert. Red alert. Diverting power to requested systems. Deploying armaments. Next target. Next target. It's a Viper. This is going to be quite a hard fight. I'd like your attention for a moment. Can't you see I'm busy? Holy smokes. Light them up. Diverting power to weapons.
he's escaping. Yeah, he's gone. What a pity, all that effort was for naught. Retract weapons. Retract weapons. Open navigation panel. Nope, open nav panel. Navigation oh, yeah. panel activated. Here we go. We have to find the station now where I'm not immediately wanted. This is not going to be easy. Wanted, wanted, wanted. As I said, this is not going to be easy. I need to find an independent platform. Damn it. This had to happen in the middle of damned Federation space, has it? Nope. Yes! Aldine Prospect. Engage jump drive. Jump into light speed. Engage jump drive. Jump into Frame light speed. Drive charging. So I'm going to fly to the independent platform now and hoping that uh, they have a, um, a p um, the possibility to for me to pay back my um, not insignificant Federation bounty Engage. now. The thing is, it's not insignificant simply because there is no insignificant bounty. Any bounty makes you flag for anyone in the galaxy immediately. And um, yeah, there are enough people to try to shoot you down for the 400 credits you owe. Who's that? Another player, I have to be prepared. A vulture. Clean though. Open targeting. Navigation panel activated. Aldine Prospect, wasn't it? Close targeting. Affirmative. Okay, let's hope this guy is a bounty hunter and not interested in me. There are not very good odds though. This probably is going to be interested in me. He's flying a vulture, which is a very advanced fighting ship. So this guy has a lot of experience. He probably played this game for like... I don't know, way more than I did. No questions asked. So the thing about... Um, the one thing that I am... Um, May I have your undivided attention for just a moment? The one thing... Please don't interrupt me, Scotty. The one thing that I'm missing in uh, the game is the music. It's very eerie and la -di da but it's not how it's it's not like for example the Hegemonia was, which had wonderful eerie music. It's just well in the background, something like that. Which is why I normally mute the music and put in my own. Which I'm not doing because this is streaming right now. I'm going to be a video. Now I'm listening. I'm listening. Sometimes you might find it even more interesting if you dropped out of Super Cruise and took a closer look at some of the beautiful sights on offer. Oh, she wants me to go sightseeing while I've got a wanted flag. That sounds like a very stupid idea. Up close and personal. That sounds like a very stupid idea. But yes, um, the game is, no questions asked, absolutely beautiful. That is a wonderful game. Its beauty is to behold. She's a rare flower, she is. So 
so we are about to go to Aldean Prospect. This might be Federation ships trying to intercept people going to Aldean Prospect. If that is the case, I will have to make a run for it. You can bet your sweet tippy that I'm going to make a run for it then. I still don't know why I got the wanted flag. I'm really curious about what the video will say. Maybe you can tell me why I got the wanted flag there. I'm really not sure. It seems to me that I'm going to make it to the station right. Unless, of course, that Federation ship is going to intercept me. Damn it, I got into the uh, catapult of the planet. Damn you, planet, for speeding me up. Here we go. But we're close, we're really close. Disengage. Disengaging jump. Now the thing is, there still might be Federation flyers around. I have to be careful. Really have to be careful. So far none on the scanner. Nitro. After burners. Maxing engines. Full shields. Divert power to systems. Done. Open frequencies. Opening hailing frequencies. Close targeting. Affirmative. Close targeting. Affirmative. Close targeting. about to crash into the station, man. Where is my landing pad? Can I see it? Inside. Noticing that this ship is rather fast. I can still not see my landing pad. Can we pad. listen for a moment? I'd like to share this with you. Ta-ta for now. You're welcome. flown a Cobra in a while, as you might have noticed, but I am on the right track, ain't I? Let's see if I can get rid of myself from the bounty here. If I can, that would be perfect. Docking successful. Engines disengage. Take five, Scotty. Thank you, Commander Madagyar. I'm handing you the con. So the thing is, even if I am, um, if I'm uh, in a station, if I'm not in the hangar, people can lock onto me, trigger my wanted, and I have 7,650 credits bounty in Federation. Can somebody explain to me what happened? At least I can get 69,000 back. Here we go. So, I am clean again. That was the entire... That was the entire reason I was in this station.
And at least I made a little money. So this is where I'm going to end it now. I'm going to uh, fly with my Cobra quite some time. And maybe when I'm going out to mine, I will make another video. Hope you liked it so far. I am uh, enjoying the crap out of this new Elite Dangerous. And uh, can't can say why I didn't play that for months. Not before the release, but when I started playing it again, oh, it all came back, man. It all came back. And now with voice commands, it's just getting any better. Um, well, that's about it. I hope you had fun. I'm going to end this broadcast now. Uh, and uh, the recording. And, uh, well, it would be very nice of you if you could well, check the game out, actually. Check the game out. It's available. It's even available on Steam now. So Just check it out. Maybe we'll see you in space. Okay? See you around. Bye.